Darren's question is, do you think that zoos are important to conserve species or uh, in, uh, in the wild? You know, zoos have changed considerably over the last, you know, couple of hundred years. Um, we've got a situation now where we've got amazing uh, uh, science that goes on in zoos. I'm just turning this radio down completely so I can concentrate a bit more. Um, the science that goes on behind the scenes is some of the things that you don't really see. Good zoos around the world uh, contribute hugely to the conservation of species in the wild. There'll be projects going on throughout South Africa, throughout uh, all of Africa, that is funded by zoos around the world. Uh, and those little tiny projects are sometimes what makes that, that, that species either survive or teach... teach um, uh, the rest of us about what's needed, uh, whether it be the preservation of a particular plant species or whether it means uh, working with another species that that, other, that animal relies on. So there's loads of stuff that goes on that we don't even know about. When we look at the sort of shop front, for want of a better term, of a zoo, um, they've changed considerably as well. Now, you know, 10 years of working in a zoo for me really did mean uh, it was the platform for me to get an understanding of why the importance of zoos are. Now, it's, it's all very well for us to sometimes um, uh, sort of have our opinions about zoos. I'm talking about zoos that are doing a good job. One has to think that there's a lot of people that will never ever get a chance to come to Africa. There's a lot of people that never get a chance to go to Asia or whatever. And sometimes to see those animals in a in a well managed uh, captive situation that have been bred in captivity as well, not caught from the wild, um, and they're behaviourally enriched uh, on a on a very very high level, you will find that um, those can be uh, educational facilities that actually pave the way for conservation for generations to come to understand the importance the absolute imperative note of why we need to conserve things on the planet. Now, if we sow that seed in a zoo and that child or that adult gets that message from a zoo, job done. That's what it's about. There's always the other side of the coin as well, like in anything. Television, acting, uh, plumbing, bricklaying, surgery, whatever. You're always going to get good and bad in everything. So when I say zoos, I talk about good zoos around the world that are doing fantastic things, working really, really hard to conserve species uh, on a global level and on a local level in their country. So I do think that they're really important, but I totally understand that people sometimes find it difficult to see uh, animals in captivity. So there's two sides to the story. I don't have an exact answer, but I think that there is a place uh, for them. Uh, obviously, nothing beats this. So thank you very, very much. It's a brilliant question, and hopefully uh, that's sort of given you a bit of a, an insight to what I think about them. Um, but this is just brilliant. And you know what? Wild Safari Live is the conduit or is the, is the connection for us to now be able to deliver this to you and get that same message across. So this is like virtual virtual tourism, virtual, you're getting out and seeing exactly what we're seeing and we deliver those messages and I hope that uh, what I used to do back in a zoo uh, is coming through exactly the same here. I used to do a lot of talks in zoos, uh, particularly on giraffe and, and elephant and rhino and all different things and I used to just make sure that um, the message that they people took away was not a preachy message but just to understand the importance of every different species and how they fit into the ecosystem and the habitat. We need to rely on everything. One thing I have to say, folks, that we need to never forget is all this green stuff around us. All this green stuff around us is probably more important or as important as everything else. And then go deeper than that. What's under our feet? My goodness. That's where it all starts. That soil type. That soil that is generating all this beautiful vegetation that everything else is fitting into is... Uh, is nearly more important than everything. So erosion and all those certain controls and the management uh, is very, very important stuff. We're just going across the damn wall again. 